channel today is day four of vlogmas and i hope you've been enjoying it so far um i've been really having oh my gosh the amount of dog here that just showed up on my pants i've been having so much fun making it and today i thought i'd do a quick last minute gift guide um so i thought i would show you some things that um are great ideas for last minute gifts i'm gonna start off with dane Oh no, I probably shouldn't have used this box. We're still using it though. Okay, so this actually just came and I put it in a gift box kind of thing for Dane. Anyway, okay, so if you don't know, Dane is my fiance. Peep the ring. Anyway, so I don't know if people say that anymore. Um, Dane's my fiance, so these are some of his last minute gifts. As you saw from my wrapping presents, I did show you another thing I got him over there, um, but this is some last minute gifts so now he's done off my list i may get a few little stocking things here and there but these are the last three items and some really good last minute gifts um i got him this carhartt hoodie sweater uh from marks um it's a medium but it looks so big and usually i get him a medium in um, under armor or I guess Under Armour or Columbia. So this is a medium, but it's so big. But it's a really nice, like, kind of greeny gray color. I got him this, and he said he wanted a new hoodie. So, yes. It's also a, kind of, like, a heavier sweater, but not too heavy. So I'm doing this before he comes home. So there's that. And then, as well, some good last-minute gifts that are good to add to this. Um, Dan's an electrician, or he's an apprentice electrician, so... Um, I got him some work socks. Um, he does have to wear steel toes. So I got these Wind River Heritage um, socks. They just come with two pairs. And I believe they had support around his, where your arch of your foot would be. So I think he'll really like these. He's been needing some new socks. I fold his socks and he needs some socks. And Ebony's itching in the back. Are you gonna put your name on these gifts to Dean? Anyway. And then another good gift is lip balm. So I saw this when I was on the Marks website because I needed free shipping. So I grabbed these. These are some Rocky Mountain Barber Company lip balms. Uh, maple, peppermint, orange brandy, and vanilla coffee. Um, they were on sale, so I thought I would just get him some. Um, he really likes EOS and he likes Burt's Bees, but I thought I would kind of let him try these. These are also made in Canada, I believe. Yes, made in Canada. So... I got him some of these and I think he'll really enjoy them. Okay, next gift guide. Good stretch, buddy. Mm, thank you. This could be a good gift for in-laws or anything like that. I actually got it as a goodie bag from my staff Christmas party, but I'm thinking this would be such a good idea to do for like your in-laws or uh, parents or even a friend like honestly this little gift is such a good idea so it actually came in a box um a, like a gift box kind of thing um but we got a bottle of wine and i act i'm a really big fan of white wine so i'm really excited to try this but but yeah so some white wine but that's not all and then which this would even be a good thing with pepperidge farms that are in the mall um we got some tuscan style crackers some wine and cheese biscuits, and a little thing of brie. And I think that is such a fun little gift idea for someone who you don't really know what to get. That's perfect. Um, another thing that I got in my, um, another good gift for a bride um, or groom um, is um, there's a company called Never Knew I Needed, and it's actually on um, Etsy, and they have their own website. And I am, they're an Ottawa-based company and I've been obsessed with them. I've ordered a couple things for them and I love it. I'm actually doing their bridal advent calendar and I got these today on I think it was day eight um, and these are such a good gift. Like if someone actually got me these for Christmas, I'd be like, thank you. Like I don't think I added really anything for a wedding onto my list. So these are some really good gifts. So these are to my bride and to my groom cards. 
they also have a subscription box on their website and I'm kind of tempted to get it for myself for my birthday. Um, you can pick monthlies and stuff like that, but things like this are really good ideas because I didn't even think about doing cute little cards for each other. Um, they, yeah, it, like a planner, um, all kinds of cute stuff. I recommend going to their website. This is not a sponsored ad, but their website has a lot of cute stuff. And next I'm going to show you some dog stuff. So if you have a friend who loves dogs or you have dogs and you want to give them a gift, I'm going to show you guys that next. Okay, so I grabbed what we're giving our dogs for Christmas, and as you can see, they are intrigued. Okay, we're gonna back it up. We're not gonna have this stuff right now. We gotta wait one more week, almost a little over a week. Okay, I'm just doing a video. I would lock them out, but I feel like they'd be very upset with me if I did that. Sorry, I'm just gonna put these things back. Okay, I'm gonna show you what we got my dogs, and I'm gonna do it pretty quick, because as you can see, they want everything. Um, this is actually not for Christmas, but I'm going to be making some dog cookies with them next week for Vlogmas. We're going to make dog cookies. Anyway. Okay, so their gift guide. So we didn't really get them too much for Christmas. We don't usually get them too much. Um, they'll probably get a Nyla bone with these things. We just haven't gone to get them yet. Um, we just picked some of their favorite toys. So for Ebony this year, no, you have to wait. Okay, I'll show Honor's gift first. So, we got Honor these. Now, you're, this is Honor. And you may be wondering, why did you get such a small toy for a big dog? Well, Honor grew up with a little dog uh, for his first few years. So, he partially... Hey, we're not guarding things. So, he partially thinks he's a little dog. And he loves kitty cat toys. Well, they're dog toys, but we call them kitty cat toys. So... Um, I got these on Black Friday. They were a really good deal, and he loves the spiky balls, so. And he has a lot of fun taking the babies out and just playing with his spiky balls, so. The next thing we got was for Ebony. Ebony loves rope toys, and we recently had to, no, we recently had to cut the rope toys. So, this is Ebony's. As you can see, she loves it, and Ani wants to play with it. Kate, we're leaving it. Leave it. Listening is not okay right now. Okay, back up. Back up, back up. We have to show more. We have to show more. Okay, so yeah, um, my sister works at PetSmart, so I always get PetSmart stuff. Okay, okay, thank you. A rope toy, you can never go wrong with a rope toy, especially if you have a dog that loves throwing toys, <laughs> pulling tug of war. I'm probably going to give them one of these, hold on. Okay, you can have one now. Okay, I also got them these, but we're going to give these to them now. They squeak, so we're going to go take one. Here, Honor. Hold on. I can't give it to you with this thing sticking out. Is yours sticking out? Okay, there you go. Take it. These are those cheap toys. Which, don't worry, they're gonna go play with those, but... <laughs> I've got extras. So, they got these they're getting. And then they're gonna get a bag of treats. I actually got these on sale. Or no, I didn't get these on sale. They were supposed to be on sale because they were fall. They're not expired or anything, but I got these from Wren's. So yeah, isn't that cute? I love pretzels, so I had to get them that. But yeah, so that's, that's all their stuff for the dogs. That took a lot longer than I thought it would. Now they're squeaking in my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Mm -hmm.